You're going to show me how grandma, great grandma, great -grandma. made sour cream cookies. Yes. Um, so, and they were her mother's. They were her grandmother's. Oh, recipe. they were her grandmother's. And the recipe oh. her grandmother used was an antique when she got it. So we're going back like seven layers of grandma at this oh, point. Oh wow! So way back into the 1850s. Yeah, Something I think earlier. It's earlier an, than I think that. it's a, a Revolutionary War oh. uh, Philadelphia recipe. Oh, how great! Yeah. Well, I'm, I can't wait to we'll taste. We'll use the original Revolutionary War machinery. Exactly. And, um, <laughs> and we'll make it right here. Every so. home has one. <laughs> okay, so I'll sift the dry ingredients you for you. So regular old uh, flour, regular one and a half flour, cups. which she sifted, but we don't have to anymore. Baking soda. Baking soda. A quarter teaspoon. Half a teaspoon baking powder. Baking powder. Will you do that? I'm going to dump okay. the butter in here. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Some salt. There okay. So you just mix that up, and I'm putting in a third of a cup of butter and a cup of sugar. And we're going to cream that together. Okay. Do you cook at home regularly? I do, but I was smart enough to marry a man who's a better cook than I am. So I do. I spend a lot of time watching. But I have to sit at the kitchen counter and watch him cook. I'll tell you my husband's line and why I married him. He said, "A woman's place is in the kitchen, sitting with her feet up, <laughs> drinking a glass of wine, oh. watching me cook." Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. How many of us have those kinds that's, of guys hanging that's around? That's right. Oh, that's brother. That's, that's nice. why we. That's why we keep him around. Oh. oh. Um, so we'll do this and. Um, and the other really wonderful thing about this cookbook, as I throw in an egg. Okay, so it's a simple, simple recipe. Yeah, it's the simplest thing in the world. Oh, and so I'm here. You, you need oh, thank you. I am okay. going to need that. Um, so all the proceeds from this cookbook are going to a wonderful organization called Scholar Match. Oh, and Scholar Match is an organization that matches um, very promising students from under-resourced backgrounds with people who want to help them pay for their college education. How nice. Um, so I just think, hold it, hold it. You can put that in there. And I think somewhere my great-grandmother, who was a brilliant woman who had very little, limited opportunities in her life, I think she's smiling down knowing that 65 years after her book was first published, it's going to send a bunch of kids to college. How great. So don't be afraid oh, to buy extra good. coffees. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really so wonderful thing. So you chill the dough? You chill the dough if you want to roll it out, which we're not going to do. There's two ways you can do this. Should I butter the pan? Yeah, do it. Okay. Okay, the Gilbert way, the yeah. Potter way, our family, smear it on. Yep, okay. We butter everything we eat in okay. my family. We okay. butter our wine glasses. So you could cook this. You could, you could cook this on a silpat. You could, or yeah. a parchment paper. But I like it buttered because it gives the bottom of the cookie this okay. nice golden, lickable right. delicious. My mother always did it that way with a piece of paper. Yeah, that's how I grew yep. up doing it. Okay. So um, I'm gonna have you help me undo this. Okay, there. I'll take that out. Do I get to lick that? Well, you can have the whole thing. <laughs> Oh, there. Yeah, I think we do it that way. Okay. So she, in, in the cookbook, discusses a couple things you can do with this. You can either chill it and then roll it out and use ornaments. And my father's favorite memory of my great-grandmother, which was his grandma, was cooking Christmas cookies with her, which was So this is this recipe. on your father's side or your mother's my side? My father's side. Oh, there. You can have the beater, Yay, dear. Yay, thank you. <laughs> and, um, and he remembers that they used to cook a string right into the, the cookie and then bake it with the string in it and hang it on the tree. And ah, then the dogs yeah. and kids would attack the tree and eat the cookies. So we're gonna use this for... We're gonna use that and then just scoop them out. So you okay. can either use a little ice cream scoop or you can do it the way that we do it in my family, which is not as tidy. But, but if you want uniform sized cookies, oh, you do it with an ice cream scoop. And I think we do want uniform sized okay. cookies. Somewhere my great grandmother saying, make them uniform sized. Yes. Um, this is my only chance to be on TV. And then she's sugar. Uh, how? Uh, and then what you do is you can do a bunch of stuff with this. You can put chopped nuts on it. She put um, uh, raisins and currants on hers, which is a very old fashioned oh. way to do it. But I think the nicest thing is to just put some sugar sprinkles on it. Oh, you can put there. colored sugar. You can mix it on there. Okay. And then you can. you can either just put it on there or you can even use your thumb and press it down a little and make okay. a kind of flatter cookie. Nice. Um, and sort of bakes it in there. So bake at 375? Bake for... at 375. And I noticed with her cookbook, I'm not quite sure why, but almost all the recipes you need to cook a little longer than she says. I think it's because she was working with a hot or cold oven. Well, she might have had, yeah, she might have had a wood burning or coal stove. Yeah, and, a lot uh, of times she yeah. did. And this, look how pretty and there that it is. is. And oh, it's, it's just the kind of gossamer and beautiful. Daintiest little sugary mm. treat. Really good. Mm.